this exhibition and like our original idea and the, our message we're trying to communicate is that we feel really privileged to have grown up in a creative household and I feel particularly like when I would see my other friends and they wouldn't be allowed to paint inside or do things inside, the parents were worried about getting the house messy. I always thought, even as a child, how stifling it must feel to not be able to just fully be yourself and I was never really told to be a certain way or conform or anything like that at all and I feel that was so informative for me as a child and how freeing it is to be able to live my life not worrying about what other people think and so many other people get worried about what people think or what society will say but to not have to worry about that I think is the most freeing quality that you could possibly have. Katie Somerville, the head curator of fashion and textiles, put us forward as an idea to do this because I think what we do with our runway shows is it's always such a visually rich environment that we create before the show has already started and when we're trying to do a show we're trying to communicate a message or where it's like an extension of our vision and what we're trying to say with each collection and it's not about trying to be dramatic or over the top or whatever it's just like the full experience and it really is the way we feel comfortable expressing what we're trying to say so I think in acknowledgement of what we have done in the past they asked us to do this because they thought it would be something that could really inspire children in this really visually rich environment. So we started doing research here at the gallery and doing like little private tours of the collection about a year and a half ago. We would go to all the different collections and the head curators of those collections and they would talk us through. And that was just like the beginning, I suppose. And then we started to get these ideas of what we wanted to do and how we wanted the exhibition to take shape and what, ex what pieces from the exhibition we wanted to put in certain rooms. So I think that really informed maybe the ideas of what each the kind of room was going to be. And, you know, sure, still drawing on our childhood memories, but that would help inform those memories and help communicate that to children. And when we do a collaboration, it's always like a specific person that we feel complements what we're going to do for the next collection. It's not necessarily working with someone because of who they are or what they do or just grabbing any old like inspiration from anywhere. And I suppose in a way what we do, we do curate things a little bit in our like own practice. So when we work with someone, it's always for a particular reason. And so this exhibition we wanted to work with a lot of the people we've worked with before who have kind of become a little bit of our family and wanted to celebrate that, I suppose, and introduce these artists that I suppose a lot of children wouldn't necessarily have been introduced to yet. I really love the Bush Magic Room and, I mean, not today, but normally it's very peaceful and, and during the install it was always like kind of nice in there and everyone said that they wanted to just go and chill out in that area and I think it's just a really nice place to stop and reflect and think about like your childhood and all, especially for me growing up in regional Australia and being surrounded by the bush and, and it also actually inspired our last our winter collection which we've just released which is called Bush Magic. It was a celebration I suppose of just like the magic of the bush and it's something that's always been really close to me and Anna and our first ever collection was called Regional Australia and so I think that it's really cool to have this kind of come 360 in a way and be like back on that tangent. And moving forward for spring and summer, we already know what we're gonna do for that and there'll be a lot of bush references in there as well.